Johnny! What's up, Snappers? I'm Sephir and I want to show you my favorite ways of building on uneven terrain on Ark Survival Evolved. But before we begin, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And here we go! Foundation support in Ark is radial and behaves like current. I'm probably gonna say this a few times. This means that every foundation and pillar has an area of effect rather than a strict snapping pattern. As long as structures are snapped together, a single connection with the foundation support will be enough for us to build whatever we want to within the supported area. Think about an ocean platform, for example. Once you snap something to it, you can go crazy within it. Remember this base? In seemingly flat terrain, we will find spots where we cannot place any more foundations, either because the terrain is too high or too low. My favorite solution to this is connecting different foundation supports with a fence foundation. That's right. The fluid mechanics of the fence foundations allow us to connect structures at different heights as long as they share a snap point. This relies on what we call the fence foundation float. Fence foundations can go up or down from certain structures while transferring foundation support as long as they are snapped. Whenever you reach the terrain limit, sink a few pillars from the last foundation. It should be done once, three times, five times or in odd quantities. It can be done in even quantities, but then you'll have to either start sinking from the borders or make a half foundation offset to have your next foundation in place. With a low foundation next to a high foundation, highlight a fence foundation in the border of one of the foundations and, without moving your camera, toggle snap points until the fence foundation lands on the next foundation and place it. If you can use the command console, you can use the code debug structures. This is not a sheet and it will allow you to see the connections between structures. But if you don't have access to console commands, you can still verify if the foundations are indeed connected by placing some ceilings above the sunken foundations. This is a fairly simple trick and if done right, it won't fail. You can see how I did this on my egg incubator build and my Nerovnia house. And in my current build, I combined it with the same process but going up whenever my foundation started to disappear into the terrain. Because I usually build with clipping enabled, I snapped a pillar to the last foundation, a pillar up from it, and a foundation to the last pillar. Then I either left the pillars there or connected them with fence foundations. By the way, I built the structure only supported by a single pillar in the corner of the foundation grid, but then I needed to remove that pillar so I broke down another pillar from the center of the structure and connected a ceiling to the foundations around it using fence foundations. A bit overkill, but I didn't want to lose the massive structure above. If you are building with official settings, you can use these tricks to avoid obstructions in the ground. The fence foundation float has a height limit. Originally, Captain and I measured it as three pillars minus three pillar sinks. But recently, I have only been able to do it as three pillars minus five pillar sinks. This means that from a foundation, you make five pillar sinks and place two pillars above the last one. This will allow you to float a fence foundation above a foundation, and this is the max height achievable by simple offsets. If you want to help measuring this with fractions of a unit, join my Discord and tell me what you find. On extremely uneven terrain, this can be combined with many other tricks to connect ceilings, catwalks, foundations, and pillars at different heights with fence foundations. But there's a simpler way of doing this in my opinion. If you already feel confident about building with the glorious, epic and almighty fence foundation, you can draw your foundation support in the ground with fence foundations and snap a pillar every three to five fence foundations. Now you can make a roof above all of them. Like I said before, foundation support in Arc is radial and behaves like current, like an electrical circuit or an audio signal path. All the pillars in the ground are connected so you can keep building above them, within their support radius. Rectangles, triangles, circles, whatever you want within the game's limitations. Sadly, this guide does not solve the gapless walls issues with official settings, and I know this is one of the main reasons why some builders do not build with clipping enabled. Gapless walls are neat indeed, but I really hope for this video to help others to start looking for uneven terrain spots to build more frequently, to ditch flat terrains for a while, and enjoy the amazing landscapes this game provides, even ditch official settings from time to time. 
this is it, my favorite tips on how to build on uneven terrain. Thank you all for coming, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you next time.